Respiration. Respiration is the movement of oxygen from the outside environment to the cells, and the removal of carbon dioxide to the environment. Air pathway. Air enters the nasal cavity through nostril and the larger dust particles are trapped by the hair and mucus in the nostrils. Air, while passing through the nasal cavity, becomes moist, warm and filtered of smaller foreign particles by mucous membrane. Air quickly moves to the pharynx. From there, it passes through the larynx, or voice box. Air enters the trachea. The trachea or windpipe is a tubular structure lying ventral to the esophagus and extends to the chest cavity or thorax where it is divided into right and left bronchi. Each bronchus on entering the lung divides into bronchioles. The bronchioles continue to divide and subdivide deep into the lungs and finally open into a large number of air sacs. Air sac is the functional unit of the lungs. Each air sac consists of several microscopic single-layered structures called alveoli. Overlying the alveoli there is a rich network of blood capillaries to produce an excellent site for the exchange of gases. Lungs are spongy because of the presence of millions of alveoli. Lungs are placed in the chest cavity. Chest cavity is bounded by ribs and muscles on the sides. The floor of the chest is called diaphragm. Diaphragm is a sheet of skeletal muscles. Breathing Breathing is a process in which fresh air containing more oxygen is pumped into the lungs. And air with more carbon dioxide is pumped out of the lungs. Breathing is a mechanical process consisting of two phases, inspiration and expiration. During inspiration, fresh air containing more oxygen moves in the lungs and in expiration air with high carbon dioxide moves out of the lungs. During inspiration the space inside the chest cavity is increased by muscles of ribs contract and elevate the ribs upwards and forwards and the muscles of diaphragm also contract and becomes less dome-like which causes increase in the chest cavity and reduces pressure by which the air rushes from the outside due to higher atmospheric pressure. This is called inspiration. During expiration, the ribs move downward and inward. In this way from the sides of chest cavity the space becomes less. The muscles of diaphragm also relax becoming more dome-like. This reduction in space of the chest cavity causes air moves out of the lungs and this is expiration. Transport of respiratory gases. Intake of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide by blood passing through capillaries of alveoli within the rich network of capillaries surrounding the alveoli, in which diffusion of oxygen in and carbon dioxide out occurs because of difference in partial pressures of these gases. Oxygen is transported to all body cell through blood vessel.